Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Gabriel. I have a story to share with you today called Hungry Harry. He's a little frog, as you can see, and his mom has told him that he's going to have to learn how to feed himself now. Can you imagine if your mom and dad told you that you needed to find your own food? Let's see what happens to Harry. Harry Frog was feeling hungry. What's for dinner, he asked his mom. Well, I think you're old enough to look for your own food now, said Mommy Frog. Terrific, cried Harry, and off he leaped across the lily pond. Till he came to some tall reeds. There's sure to be something tasty here, said Harry, licking his lips. Sure enough, there was a delicious looking dragonfly. Harry was just about to jump when the dragonfly flew off high into the air. You can't eat me, she called. I'm much too quick for you. Harry was wondering what to do next when suddenly he saw a big juicy caterpillar on a twig above him. Goody, goody, dinner at last, cried Harry. But when he flicked out his long tongue to catch it, the caterpillar laughed. You can't eat me, she said. My hairs would tickle your tongue. Never mind, I'll find something soon, said Harry. He bounced on until he met a scrumptious looking snail crawling toward him. Yummy, yummy, said Harry. But when he reached it, the snail's head suddenly disappeared. You can't eat me, said the snail inside its shell. I'm much too clever. Harry was getting hungrier and hungrier. He was just about to give up and go home to his mom when he stopped. A squirmy worm wiggling along. Now's my chance, cried Harry. But just as he was about to catch the worm in his big wide mouth, it slithered down into a wormhole. You can't eat me, shouted the worm. I'm too squiggly and squirmy. Harry felt very fed up. He would go home to his mom. But just as he turned to hop back, he saw something he'd never seen before. Gosh, I wonder what it is. It didn't look too quick. It didn't look too tickly. It didn't look too clever. And it didn't look too squiggly and squirmy. In fact, it looked, oh, what do you think's over there? Absolutely delicious. And what was more? There was enough for everyone. Look at all the yummy things that he found to eat. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of when you guys get out the kitchen food and you bring Miss Coppinger and Miss Gabriel and Miss Daniels different things to eat all the time. Some of you even think it's funny when you pretend to put hot sauce on it and burn our mouths. Remember that? Well, I sure do. Don't be giving mommy and daddy any hot sauce on the food, okay? They probably won't like it very much either. Take care.